come back to Bloom. These are definitely uncertain times with the pandemic. The reality is a lot of people are not coping all that well right now. What can you do? How can you find the light at the end of the tunnel? Well, joining us is Bernice Fly Girl Armor, America's first African-American female combat pilot, a former police officer, and the author of the book, Zero to Breakthrough, who wants to provide inspiration and hope to all of us. Welcome to Bloom, Bernice. Hey, 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 great to be here. We're so excited to have you because you are so much fun and you really are uh, an expert during these difficult and challenging times. And you have some tips for our viewers. I do. And just to put it in perspective, it's crazy, right? Because COVID hit and I'm a speaker. I speak for corporations, large leadership conferences. Who knew what I depended on uh, for work was large crowds getting together and I saw everything disappear as far as the eye could see. And it said, okay, wait a minute, I need to reimagine, reassess and reinvent, right? So fast forward a couple months and I watched George Floyd take his last breath. And I'm a former cop, former soldier, National Guardsman, you know, peacekeepers on our streets, diversity officer, headquarters, Marine Corps, you know, creating diversity policy for all of the services. And then on the other side, an openly gay black woman. So it's like my perspective just in this moment was crazy. And I, in the beginning, I'll be honest, I didn't exactly know what to do or what to say. Reached out to a couple friends and quickly was able to, you know, regain my voice and be able to share perspective. But if I didn't know what to say with all of those dots, what are the challenges and obstacles other people are going through? Or even like the white mom in suburbia is thinking about how do I engage and connect the dots in this moment? So that's the conversation I want us to have today. And I'm excited. Hey, you know what's exciting about you just getting to know you through a Zoom call? I mean, you, you just like, you, I don't know. I, I feel like I've known you my whole life. There's something about you that whatever column you're in at that time or whatever you're representing, you represent it well and you do what you got to do. So does it kind of go back to your days in the service that you create, your flight plan? And what does that mean? You know, I, you know, when people say, oh, yeah, of course, you know, the Marine, the Marine Corps or the police department created who you are. I think I was who I was. And that's why I was such a good fit for those things. Right. I'm a free spirit, but I definitely learned discipline and structure and process, you know, in those those career fields. So, yeah, as a pilot, number one, create your flight plan. Where do you want to go? Number two, you pre-flight. You do mitigate your risk. You know, you check the landing gear, you check the engine, you check the fuel, make sure you got enough. Right. Uh, you take off that launch phase, whatever you want to do in life. Have you put all the things in place? And let me just say two things about the flight plan. Number one, don't think about the how on the first step, just what it is, or else you're going to boil it down and you're not going to go for what you really want because it'll feel too unattainable. And number two, that's where you mitigate the risk, not in step one. Then you take off, then you execute step four, navigate the mind, fields and obstacles. Then finally, in step five, it's three phases, review, recharge, emotionally, physically, intellectually, and reattack. my favorite part. Only two ways to succeed, the first time or again. I love this. I love this. I had the, the great opportunity to fly with the Blue Angels, and it's something I know is remarkable out of McDill Air Force Base. Everything you described at, and respect, I mean, my gosh, mm -hmm. you really do need to do all those things. You've got a plan. It's the takeoff, yeah. and then it is the picking yourself up by the bootstraps, and that's not just whether you're in a plane or not. That's life. Absolutely. And when you look at what's going on, whether it's now COVID or our social justice movement or in a tough period of your life, or, I mean, or we have families right now who are one month away from homeless or one day away from homeless or, you know, we see the food lines. So it's really who's your support network? Who can you talk to? Um, who can you depend on? And it's so tough sometimes to feel vulnerable and share with people what you really need. But this time more than any, our family, our friends, our networks, we need to lean on each other for that support. And that's huge. And I can't say that enough. 
Oh, wow. Look at that picture. We are showing you right now with uh, former President Barack Obama. He's you are amazing. an inspiration, Vernice. I, I want to direct people to your website. It's VerniceArmor.com. I'm going to be following you because you are fantastic. I'm going to give you, you so one much. better. I'm going to give you one better. Have <laughs> folks text Gutsy, G U T S Y, to 72,000. They'll get a Gutsy Action Guide and a three part video series on overcoming challenges and obstacles. They'll probably watch too much of me. So I, that's I, I don't think I can get enough of you. <laughs> All right, thanks, Bernice. We're going to be back with more Bloom right after this.